my channel today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a forest showcase um, so yeah okay so go to create and then my creations and create new experience okay so first go to editor and then edit and then add I'm gonna make this a bit smaller since it's a tutorial video but you can make it as big as you want so um, I will use grass, so click on grass, and you can make it like an 8, and then you can just drag it around to create some grass. Um, you can test it to see if it's big enough, so click on test, and then play. Um, wait for it to load. Okay, this is big enough, I think. And then you can click on stop. Okay, so now I would add a bit of like mountain so I would grow the some parts of it. Like that. Looks big enough. And then you can like just add it in random places so it's not so flat. Um, okay, that's probably good. Um, okay, so now I like to add like a river, so click on uh, paint and lower it to a 1 and click on um, water right here and then you can drag it around to where you want to create a little um, like river. And I'll like add a little thing right here. Um, I'll add that. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm gonna make it like an ocean. So this is like a, a forest island. So now I add like trees and stuff. So there's this model. I'll put it in the description with um, realistic trees. So go to view and toolbox. And once you install it from the description, it should be in here. And it's this nature pack. So you click on it, wait for it to load. Ungroup the tree. So go to a tree and then right click on it and click on ungroup. Okay, now it should look like when you like put your mouse over it, it should like do that. So you can choose trees that you want in your showcase. Um, I think I'll choose this one, so drag it over, and then click on move, then you can move it to wherever you want, um, I'm gonna put it right here, and then to duplicate, you right click on it and then click on duplicate, and then you can just put them wherever you want, I just scatter them around. Um, like this, and I make some of them smaller at the end. Um, if you get impatient, like me, you can select the whole thing by dragging your mouse, and then uh, right click and click on duplicate, and then you can like move it around faster. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention to go to um, model and then click on zero studs for this.
Okay, once you're done, it should look something like this. Um, so now you can add details. It's a bit laggy because I'm getting a new computer. This one's really old, so it's not that good. So that's why it's laggy. But you can go over here and ungroup these rocks. And you can choose whatever ones you want to make it look a bit more um, detailed. So go back with it. You can put it wherever you want. Um, I'm gonna put it for like right for the spot for it over here. Um, okay, right over here. Okay. Uh, rotate. And you can put it wherever you want. Um, you don't have to do the same exact things as me. I'm just uh, doing a little tutorial on how I make them. But yeah, so add as many rocks as you want. You can put them anywhere. And you can also decorate it with these. And you can ungroup them. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the terrain and the details. I'll do a tutorial in a part two explaining how I do the lighting to make it look really realistic. But yeah, that's basically it so far. So I'll see you actually wait. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But thank you for 300. Um, I really appreciate it. But yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching.